thought you was fat, now you all never gotta go. Yeah, I told my drop the jewels on them. You gotta go through this. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for watching and clicking on this video. So Will Smith decides that he wants to make an apology finally. Chris, in your acceptance speech, um, I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris, um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk, and when he is, he will reach out. Um, so I will, I will say to you, uh, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Um, I, I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I saw an interview that Chris's mother did and you know, that was one of the things about that moment. I just didn't realize and, you know, I wasn't thinking, but how many people got hurt in that moment. So I want to uh, apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize. To now, here's a clip of Tony Rock. Will Smith is about to apologize to Tony Rock, Chris Rock's brother, one of his brothers, because there's 10 of them. Here's a clip of Tony Rock expressing how he feels towards the slap if i say anything tonight anybody got a fucking problem with you got one motherfucking option what you could do about it absolutely nothing because if you think you want to walk up on this stage this ain't the motherfucking oscars and if you walk your ass up here you ain't nominated for shit with these motherfucking hands. Oh, we on pop the rest of the year, nigga. Every time you see me do a show, pop. I ain't want to start the show like that. You want to hit my motherfucking brother? Because your bitch gave you a side? Tony Rock, you know, we had a great relationship. You know, Tony Rock was my man. Um, and uh, this, this, is, this is probably irreparable. Um, I spent the last three months um, replaying and understanding the nuances and, and the complexities of what happened in, in that moment. Um, and I'm not going to try to unpack all of that right now, but I can say to all of you, there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. There's no part of me that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect. Comment down below what you think set Will Smith off. Was it the G.I. Jane joke? Was it because Jada rolled her eyes and um, she expected him to do something, to say something? Or was it something he said in the past that just kind of has been building up towards this moment? Either way, comment down below what you think set Will Smith off. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? G.I. Jane Joe. Keep my wife's name out your fucking G name out your fucking mouth. Wow. After Jada rolled her eyes, did she tell you to do something? No. Um, it's like, you know, I'm, I made a choice on my own from my own experiences, from my history with Chris, Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Um, 
and say sorry to my, my kids and, and my family for the heat that I brought on all of us. Um, to all my fellow nominees, you know, this is a community. It's like I won because you, you voted for me. And it, it, it really breaks my heart to have stolen and, and tarnished, tarnished your moment. Um, I can still see Quest Love's eyes. You know, it, it happened on Quest Love's uh, award. And, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry really isn't sufficient. Now, what got me so, like, upset was the fact how embarrassed I would be to be slapped on national television in front of all those people but Chris Rock held his composure if any other comedian even any other comedian up there I don't think they would have been able to keep their cool the way he did and I'm pretty sure the Oscars is gonna have him back and pay him a lot of money because how you just let Will Smith sit there throughout the rest of the show without taking him, you know, backstage or telling him, hey, you got to go home. I guess because he won the Oscar and they still need him to stay there. But either way, it was just messed up for Chris Rock, the embarrassment. Um, but a lot of people had his back. A lot of comedians had oh. his back. Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> What would you say to the people who looked up to you before the slap or people who expressed that you let them down? Um, so there's two things. One, um, disappointing people is my central trauma. Um, I hate when I let people down. Um, so it, it hurts. Uh, it hurts me psychologically and emotionally to know I didn't live up to uh, people's image and impression of me. And the work I'm trying to do is I am deeply remorseful and I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself. All right. I'm human. And. I made a mistake and I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit. Um, so I would say to those people, I know it was confusing. I know it was shocking. Um, but I, I promise you, I am uh, deeply devoted and committed to putting light and love and joy into the world. And, you know, if you, if you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again. Okay, and that's the end of this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to comment down below what you think about this apology. Do you think that Tony Rock and Chris Rock and Will Smith will all be friends again? Um, comment down below what you think about this apology. Was it sincere or not?